I don't have much time, but Excavator is the most overpowered monument in Rust. Let me show you. With this December patch, they made Excavator extremely broken. They buffed it to where 20 diesel equates to 2,000 high-quality metal, 40,000 sulfur, 100,000 metal frags, and 200,000 stone. The stone part's important. Remember that. They also added a supply drop system. With every five diesel, you can call in a free airdrop. However, to abuse this, we'll need diesel. A lot of diesel. There are one of two strategies to acquire diesel. One, monument rat. You'll need a many copter for this method. This requires you to fly to all the monuments that spawn diesel, which are large oil, small oil, dome, and junkyard. This method is highly dangerous, so use with caution. Two, Farmer Joe. This one's a lot less risk-filled. The aim is to get so much low grade, we can just buy the diesel from Outpost for 300 low grade apiece. However, there's still one more method one that only works for one day out of 365 days in a year. And it's ridiculously overpowered. Advent calendars. Every day, starting December 16th, the advent calendar gives you daily rewards, ranging from pump shotguns to pure orities. But on this one specific day, December 18th to be exact, you get three diesel and a jackhammer. Now, you can redeem this reward once a day per server. So theoretically, if I gathered a bunch of people and had them claim this advent calendar and they all give me their diesel, <laughs> it would break the game. So I add everyone and it was time to get to work. On US West Face Punch 3, I made a two x two with a shop front and an advent calendar outside of it. So all the Zerg members had to do was spawn on the beach, redeem the advent calendar and give me their diesel. They could keep the jackhammers. The diesel was starting to pile up. It's actually insane the amount I got. After the Zerg gave me all their free diesel, I thought it was time to make use of the jackhammers and the number of people we had. Have you ever seen 30 plus people jackhammer rating? <laughs> because it's actually insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's just do it real quick, boys. Bang it out. This wall right here. This wall right here. No, 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 no. I'll focus this one wall. <laughs> Guys, watch out! Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Guys, careful! Careful! Don't don't okay. hit each other! Don't hit each other! We'll, we'll rotate! We'll rotate! <laughs> All right, it's a seventy! It's a seventy! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh! He's alive! 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 He was online! He was online! Oh! Uh, what yeah, is this? Oh! <laughs> There's so many people in here. So, so, so outside the floor. Soft outside the floor. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 There's so many people. Oh my god. Oh, that was insane. Oh my god. What is this, dude? Moment of truth. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah, south side, south side. Yeah, prayer, prayer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just getting man oh God. God. Blue. Hey, so much food. food. The jackhammer race with the Zerg was a success. But let's not forget the main goal here. I had accumulated just shy over 80 diesel fuel. That equates to 840,000 stone, 420,000 metal frags, and 8,400 high qual. This is all vanilla, by the way. So, with the Zerg gone and the diesel stashed in a hidden 1x2, I bagged in my friends Blazed, Lucky Llama, and Dave. I then ran to some gunshots nearby. I think he was right here. Got a shotty. Oh shit, he's running out. Oh, he's back. Oh my god, I just killed oh, six people. I, I oh. thought that was one of them. God damn. What? Uh, I may have just made the most weird play of my entire life. With that weird play, we took all the loot in our 1x2 and started to run towards Excavator. We wanted to live right next to it for maximum Excavator running efficiency. What the? <laughs> That's so much diesel, dude. After getting our base up right next to Excavator, we started to run out for stone. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, old girl. Yep, get to churning. The excavator run was going relatively peaceful. That is until the guy with an AK just shot at me and like ran away. Oh, oh wait. Uh, I killed the wait. gear guy. He is dead. Come Think on, you can already. have it. Don't kill me, bro. You can have the loot. Take my uh, shit. Just just let me live metal? with my fucking kid. AK. No, don't okay. Right. After that, I grabbed the stone, depoted it, and then Heli came out. Alright, tagged it. You are by your long so. Careful. It likes to do this thing where it shoots literally one perfectly placed rocket at you. Right, like this. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, oh, it didn't rocket? I thought it was rocketing I'm for sure. After depoting more stone, Blaze and Lucky Llama got into an altercation by heli counters. Dead, I killed one. So I ran to go help, but I ended up dying. I bled up. This guy I died to was named Odin. This would definitely not be our last altercation with this group. Luckily, Blaze was able to secure heli loot. I had to AFK, but he went to go search for Odin's base with just a pump. Pretty FPS gaming. Alright, I'm gonna fucking frag out on these guys with 20 FPS. Now, Blaze had found what he believed to be Odin and his group's base, so he sat patiently outside of their base on 4 HP with just a pump shotgun. I have two bandages. Jesus fucking H Christ. The food clutch. Alright, I'm here. Oh, spotted. <laughs> What's up, combat cow? Oh, hey! Now that is a name I recognize. So naturally, I assume that Don't Cheat was part of Odin's group. So we decided to raid their base with the C4 and rockets we got from Heli. Let's drop the C4. Let's more C4. They're full deep. We got TC. Everything. Nice. I'm holding, I'm holding. Okay, I'm looking for meds. I'm really low HP. We got a seal, we got a seal, bro. Pretty sure TC was here, no? Wait. Oh, you did get TC. Oh my god. What's that, man? Like a box of metal and sulfur. 12 diesel! Oh my god, nice. We need that, we're really low on diesel. After we secured the base, we then raided their furnace base. There's like three boxes of metal frag. Oh my. There were then counter raiders flying overhead, so we tried to bait them. Oh yeah, yeah, did to me. Oh my god. Maybe this is scripted. <laughs> Maybe this is. So when I went to check the bodies, I was greeted with a familiar name. Oh, it is. This confirmed one thing. The little compound we raided had been caught in the crossfire between Odin and R's feud. We also noticed the guys we raided seemed pretty new to the game. So I made it our goal to eventually do right by Don't Cheat and his buddies. Hey, GG, man. Yeah, you got us right when we were remodeling. We have no beds in there. Yeah. Oh, man, that's, that's unlucky, man. man I'm sorry, guys. How long are you guys laying out here? We just started today. We're gonna give you the loot back, okay? Well, I'll tell you what. We're gonna go finish up some loose ends here, and when we're done, we'll unlock the doors and we'll leave most stuff. Is that okay? No. Oh. Right. What did Blaze mean by loose ends? Well, what I did not tell you is that Blaze and Lucky Llama had found Odin's base. Now, we weren't really going to raid Odin since his base was decently sized, and grinding for rockets meant time away from walling off Excavator, so we just went to go mess with them. We only had like four rockets, right? With full? After zero success in the four rocket raid, we looted their furnaces and got the hell out of there. We never ran into Odin and his group again, so I guess they just got off after that? <laughs> we then got back to our base, and our goal of walling off excavator was finally in reach. It was so close I could taste it. However, things never go according to plan. I was gonna say, I'm about to aimbot this other kid. I definitely didn't aimbot this kid. There were cheaters outside of our base. Their only purpose was to stream snipe Blaze and ruin our wipe for clout. For the past four hours, they had been talking in chat to solicit some sort of reaction from us, but we just ignored them, which in turn made the mold even harder. The cheater was now trying to sabotage our excavator wipe and take all of the diesel fuel for himself. This was not good. The only person alive at base was Lucky Llama. He had three F1 grenades and a dream. Did Llama, tell me you killed him, bro. Tell me. You did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Llama's the best. Oh my god, what a Chad.
And he just got Oh my, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my god. Dude, god. Fucking <laughs> Imagine that that could not have gone any worse. He dies. He gets killed by a grenade and then gets game banned. You gotta quit the game. Uninstall your computer and burn your house down at that point. Those guys were molding in chat for hours, dude. Oh, that's so funny. How bad? How bad do you have to be at cheating for that to happen? With the cheater gone, Odin MIA, and don't cheat on standby, we were finally ready to finish the massive wall surrounding Excavator. And it was glorious. We did it! I then provided a tour of our glorious monument to a random naked with an interesting name. What's up, man? Yo. What's up, bro? Do you wanna... Wanna see something cool? Yeah. yeah follow, follow me, man. Follow me. See all these walls on our left? Mm -hmm. What do you think of it, man? What do you, you like it? What are your thoughts? They're cool, man. I, I haven't seen them before, actually. No, uh, let me ask you this. Have you ever seen anyone wall off giant excavator? Sounds fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous, indeed. We used a total of 36 diesel fuel strictly for stone. That ended up being enough high walls we needed to wall off the entire monument. It costed 360,000 stone, which crafted two 240 high external ice walls. They're the same thing as stone walls, but just Christmas. So after giving some loot to the random naked, it was time to repay a debt to an old friend. Yo, what's up? Bonjour, friends. Hello. You guys it's all yours. I mean, you got an excavator base uh, if you want it. Yeah, man, it's all yours. You guys are there fucking fast. God, fucking bravo, that's all I can say, I guess. We had a pretty eventful day. Got a cheater band. We walled off excavator. Uh, got a lot of diesel. Yeah, man, I mean, yeah, it's all yours. Fuck, I guess, thank you. There was just shy over 40 diesel in the base that we left for our little friend here. He could run excavator without a care in the world, protected by our absurd quest. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, click this one right now. It's it's really good, I swear. It's, it's a really good video. You should watch that.